See these cards right here? These are uh, info cards for new students. And there's 11 of them. 11 new students came last night. And that's what it's been like every single week so far. Hey, Frank here, and this is what we did last night. Last night was our, I guess, third official Wednesday uh, that we've started here, and it's been crazy. One thing that I've been constantly talking to all the other staff about is that this is one of the most unique youth situations ever. We've probably had in the past three weeks probably close to 70 kids come in out of our doors. And in that consistently, we probably have about 40 to 50 kids that's been coming consistently. Um, what's crazy is on, on, on Sunday mornings when we have junior high, we have probably close to 30, 35 kids, but because they're junior high and parents have to drop them off, we're only seeing like a small percentage of that come on Wednesday night. But on the flip side of that, high school is like blowing up. We have like tons and tons of high school girls and like people coming from all across the area, like not just like the city we're in, West Dallas and Milwaukee, but like from cities that I can't even pronounce because there's some Indian tribe names. This is like super far away. So it's been crazy the people that's coming here. There's probably over 20 different schools represented just in this youth group. So with all that being said, it's been awesome trying to, as we, as we go through this season of learning who the students are and figuring out everything that's going on, trying to figure out what the identity of this youth group is gonna be because it's so broad, so big. How are we going to say this is who we are when it's such a large group of people from different backgrounds, socioeconomic, race, all this type of stuff, how are we going to define what this youth group is? And so I'm excited about this challenge. So last night we began with our Youth Moon playlist that is on Spotify that you can find in the description below. And then after that we showed a, a countdown that was like a swing countdown of like this the swing and these numbers going down. It was really simple. I just kept playing the playlist over the video because there's no audio in the video. But you can find the video later and next year you can even download it um, through a website that they've given out for free. So check those out. So I got to go through like all my funny videos that I've used in the past for this week. And, and this week the two funny videos we used were actually just killer. The first one was uh, a, a voiceover of David and Goliath, I believe. Uh, HSM over at Saddlebag did and they that it was like these really funny videos um, of really funny voiceovers of David and Goliath and it was really really great um, kids were loving it um, especially I didn't know if it would land because some of the a lot of our kids are unchurched but they all heard the story of David and Goliath and so it nailed make sure you use this video it's great you remember the guys who made the video of like how to eat like an animal and like the guy would like pretend he's an animal and like rip up the table and the free, well anyways they made another video called the seven ways to discipline your kids and that one landed because it was just really weird and goofy and our kids love like slapstick humor and stuff like that so if you haven't used this video use it it's in the description below these were great videos super funny to use and uh, the students will love them we played two games um all upfront games one was from dym one's from youthman.org the first one's from dym it's called the snap challenge um they've already had like a second maybe even a third version of this on DYM, but I've used the first one for tonight, and it was great. The kids loved it. They they never played this game before, and they they thought it was funny trying to figure out, trying to remember what was on the screen, and so that was good. And this guy just had the kids just kind of yell out the answer. You know what I'm saying? There was no point really being kept. And I love that type of stuff. Like when that, especially because a lot of these games have tiebreakers at the end. I just go through it like, oh, it's a tie, and like I'm not keeping score, so it's not really a tie. And so we'll just do the tiebreaker. It's, it's a fun time for kids to just enjoy themselves and answer these questions. The second game we played was called Buzzwords. You can find it in the Youthman store and it's kind of like, there's another game, like a board game, categories, I, mean, I, don't, I don't really know, that's very similar to this, but basically um, I show a letter and a, and a subject on the screen and they have to write as many words that, like, like, like sports teams that start with S. And so they're like, Seattle Supersonics, Seattle Seahawks, Steelers, like they're writing as many names as they can to get points. Um, for their team. And so I divide the teams up to junior high, 9th and 10th, and 11th and 12th, and it was perfect. It was great. They, the kids loved that game. They loved the competition field of it. And I gave them about 25 to 30 seconds each each round because we're kind of like getting close to time where I had to dismiss them. But even then though, uh, it, it was a fun time. The kids loved it and actually the juniors and seniors won the whole, the whole thing because their vocabulary is probably much more expansive, I suppose. But I also saw like three leaders in there with them, so maybe they cheated. I don't know. So after that, I dismissed the junior hires out to small group and then the senior high stayed in the room and we talked about um, 
why should we go to church? Like, what was the point? What's the point of coming to church? Why we should be? Feel, why should we feel that this is important and to be a value for our lives? And so, basically, I had I had three points for them. The first one is church is a place where you can find community to be in. The second one was church is a place where you can grow in your faith. And third, church is a place where we celebrate who God is and what He's doing. And obviously, there's much more reasons why we should be going to church, and and it was an extent of theology of the church and why we should be here, but it was just kind of basic fundamental stuff of, this is why you should be here. This is a place where you can connect with a people, a place, and a person, and, and this is here where you can get all that stuff that nowhere else in the world can you find this kind of community. At least, like, that's where it's true. Like, the church is the only place you can find this kind of community. But that's all I got for now. Um, if you're not following me on Twitter or Instagram and Facebook, make sure you follow me. Um, it's pastor underscore tank. And I might be making a periscope either today or tomorrow about kind of giving you a tour of our youth room. Maybe even parts of the, other ch the rest of the church. I don't know. We'll see if the lights are even on. But with that being said... God bless you guys. Hope to see you next week. Make sure you go to the Youth Men store, find all my products. I have some new games in there. I'm going to be adding some stuff in the coming weeks. And uh, hopefully I'll see you next week. God bless.